The idea of perimeter is a very simple one. If I want to get the perimeter of a shape, really what I'm asking is if I walked all the way around the shape, what's the length that I've walked? What's the distance I've walked? So what is the length all the way around a shape? So for example, if we start with this one, this is a pentagon because it's got one, two, three, four, five sides. And let's imagine that this thing is a regular pentagon and it has a side length of two meters. Now let's first just make sure we know our shapes. Regular pentagon. Pentagon means it's got five sides. And regular means that all the sides are the same length. So each of these sides is two meters long. So what's the perimeter? Well, if I walk around the shape, it's 2, plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. And so the perimeter in this case is 10 meters. Okay, imagine here I've got a rectangle, um, a rectangle, a triangle, and it's got side lengths. This one's 2 centimeters, this one's 3 centimeters, and let's make this one over here. Let's say that this one over here is 4 centimeters. And you want to know what's the perimeter. Well, again, perimeter couldn't be simpler. It's just walk around the shape. And how long is that? So it's 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 4 is 9. So our perimeter here will be 9 centimeters. OK, let's have a look at a couple of problems here. Let's start with this bottom one. The perimeter of a rectangle is 40 centimeters and its length is 15 centimeters. What is its breadth? Now, for me, the best way to start here is to draw a picture. So here is a very badly drawn, but a rectangle. And what do they tell us about it? We know that its length is 15 centimeters. So this is 15 and this is 15. And we know that the whole perimeter is 40 centimeters and what they're asking us for is the breadth so the breadth is the thing that we don't know so I'm just going to call that the B for breadth so what will the perimeter be equal to the perimeter will be 15 plus breadth plus 15 plus breadth in other words you will get 15 plus the breadth plus an another 15 plus the breadth and that's going to give you the perimeter so in total that'll give you 40. All right now we can sort this out 15 and 15 gives me 30 so we've got 30 plus 2 of the breadths that gives me 40. Well 30 plus what gives you 40? This must obviously be 10 right because 30 plus 10 will give you 40 and so what will the breadth be well 2 times what gives you 10 2 times 5 gives you 10 so your breadth has to be 5 centimeters just check that 30 plus 2 times 5 that's 10 gives you 40 and I solved this by saying 30 plus what would give me 40? Well, this thing here had to be 10. And 2 times what gives me 10? The answer here will be 5. Just solving that equation by inspection, quite simply. OK, I want you to try the top one in your homework books. Pause the video now and give it a try. All right, let's go over this. Hopefully what you did was get your little square. And you know that it's perimeter is 36 centimeters. Well, we don't know what its side is, so let's call the side S. Now in a square, the sides are all the same. So you've got one, two, three, four sides. So four sides is going to be equal to 36 centimeters. So four times what will give you 36? Pretty immediate. The answer is 9, because 4 nines are 36. So each of these sides must be 9 centimeters. We often need to be able to convert between units of measurement. The typical units of measurements we will use are kilometers. Now, kilometers 
those are for fairly substantial distances, you know, a length that you kind of walk or even drive in your car or the distance between two towns or whatever, that'll be measured in kilometers. The distance from, you know, here to the, a neighboring suburb is also probably in kilometers. Meters, um, and you should be able to fit, picture a, a length of in meters, right? Each meter is about, if you kind of hold your arms out, that's a meter. Centimeters, if you look on your ruler, right, you'll see those little centimeters. And then millimeters, also on your ruler. Those are the very tiny measures on your ruler. Okay. Now, I find this little thing very useful for helping me convert. Because I know in each one kilometer, there are a thousand meters. So to go from kilometers to meters, if I'm given a distance in kilometers and I need to get it into meters, I've got to multiply by a thousand. And if I want to go back from meters to kilometers, I've got to divide by a thousand. Similarly, there are hundred meters, I mean a hundred centimeters in a meter. So if I'm given an amount in meters, go to centimeters, I must multiply by a hundred. But if I want to go, given the amount in centimetres and I've got to come back to metres, I need to divide by 100. And from centimetres to millimetres, it's times 10 millimetres to centimetres, it's divide by 10. So this diagram is a nice little cheat for me to be able to work this out really easily. And I often just write at the top of my page before I'm going to do any kind of questions. Okay, so imagine I'm given uh, 24 kilometers and I want to turn that into an amount, a length in centimeters. Uh, 24 kilometers, I mean, that's a fairly substantial distance, right? So 24 kilometers, um, you know, that'll be the distance actually between two suburbs or something like that. Um, and centimeters, it's going to be an awful lot of centimeters if you picture what size a centimeter is. Well, let's see exactly how many. We're going to take the 24 and we're going to multiply by a thousand. That converts us to meters. And then we're going to multiply by a hundred to convert us to centimeters. And so if we see what that is, it's 2,400,000 centimeters. All right, I want you to try one now. Take 354 meters and turn it to two and a length in millimeters. Pause the video and do it in your homework book. Okay, so you did this, 3, 4, 5, 4, times by 100 to get to centimetres, times by 10 to get to millimetres. So you've got 354,000 millimetres. All right, let's turn 45,389 millimetres back into an amount in metres. Okay, we first have to divide by 10. And if you remember our decimals, dividing by 10 moves that one back. And then we have to, after that, divide by 100 to go back to meters. So it's going like this. One, two more, comma goes in there, and it's 45,389. If you've forgotten the story about dividing by tens and hundreds and whatever, we did that in decimals, and you need to review that. Okay, what about 29 meters, turning that into a distance in kilometers? Well, to go from meters to kilometers, we need to divide by a thousand. So your comma's there, and it's going to go back three spaces. One, two, three. So we're going to get zero comma zero two nine kilometers.